You know, one of the most important things about Indian food is that you just need two or three spices. Yeah. But the most important spice that you need is called love. Love. If you don't have love, it doesn't matter how good the ingredient is, how organic the chicken is, it's not going to taste that love. So let's make this dish together. Cool. Can we put some of the spices in there, okay. please? That's beautiful. You know, the, the time That's has so come good. that you should learn how to cook from me. Okay, deal. Ah. <laughs> so add a little bit more spice. Mm, cumin. Happened? Yeah, a little bit of cumin seeds, a little bit of paprika, some garam masala, and a little twist that I've created. You know, you're, you're Egyptian, right? Yeah. I've added oregano just to please the world flavors and the world culture. So love and oregano is the uh, Exactly. <laughs> beautiful. So, Add that. Don't it smells put, so fragrant. Exactly. Don't forget to put some oil in it. A little bit of oil. I have some massage garlic it. at the bottom as well, right? Perfect. Massage it. Okay. Massage it. Use your hands. Remember one thing. When you're eating food or when you're cooking food, you have to use hands. Yes. Oh. Old cultures have always loved touching food. There's nothing better than when you eat food, when you go... Mm. Uh, every oh. So uh, delicious. Just so, when we need Stephen and his big bone fingers. <laughs> yes. And you have a new cookbook oh, out, Vikram. Let's exactly. talk about this cookbook. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. So, it's a, it's a very personal journey, uh, mm. the cookbook. The cookbook is not just a great cookbook, but it's also a great read. Okay. That's good. And the book is great because oftentimes with Indian cooking, I often think that you need a hundred different spices and different, you know, exotic things. Really, we've got a few spices that you can easily get. So there's only three, four things going on, but it makes sense, right? You know, the, the important part is always that when you have the few spices in your cupboard, mm -hmm. two or three, just create your own style. It's like creating music. You know, you don't need a huge orchestra to play your own music. You can create your own music as long as you do it with a lot of love and passion and you're mm -hmm. cooking for your family. And I always tell people, eat together. Mm -hmm. When you're cooking food, eat together. Don't sit in front of a television and eat food. Well, unless Use it's 2 head. p.m. Yeah. during the day. <laughs> then you, you should then every makes, day. You, I mean, now, you mentioned family, and I know you have two daughters. Do they influence what you cook or what you're going to put in your next meal? You know, so last year in December, I decided to go oh. and get a tattoo of my oh, two daughters. Oh, wow, you must them. really like them. Yeah, <laughs> they finally managed to get under my skin. <laughs> Uh, um, yeah, uh, you know, the daughters influence only mm -hmm. the element of, Papa, don't drink that third glass of wine. <laughs> you don't need it. Okay, let's put some uh, okay. vegetables in there as so well. So we've got some cauliflower. What do you have there, Chef? A little bit of uh, little radishes. Radish. You know, my mother used to make this kind of a chicken curry mm -hmm. in a pot in Richmond, and she used to put it on a bus and come and serve it to my, uh, to my customers she in the restaurant. She would carry it on the bus with On her? the bus. And she didn't tell me for the longest time that wow. everybody would make fun of her, <laughs> saying, who is this crazy Indian woman carrying a pot of chicken curry between her legs on the <laughs> bus? <laughs> because the whole bus smelled of Indian food. Yeah, but let's talk oh. about a mother's love. That's I know. Cool. And that's why this cookbook is so important, mm -hmm. to talk about cooking together, eating together, and just hanging out together. Mm -hmm. Sure. I mm -hmm. have to tell you... Oh. I'm a bit of a Vikram Vidge groupie. I grew up in Vancouver. Yes. And your restaurant, well, I know you have four, but at the time, your restaurant was like the height of all restaurants. And my parents, as a special treat, took me there for my high school graduation. That's oh, really? where we had my family yes. that was dinner, place was at to your go. restaurant. Yeah. Welcome. So what we should do is, uh, as soon as you put the chicken in there, put it in the oven. And, and this is skin side up. And this is skin side up. The okay. fattiness, the colors, and the flavors and stuff. You know, I had the uh, honor of serving the royals. Come on. That's amazing. Wait a minute. This yeah. is a Vicar? severe downgrade. Yeah. Not, not severe. Not this is it, pretty... A slight downgrade. A slight <laughs> downgrade. Right. They were such a lovely couple. Mm -hmm. and, and I felt really honored to be serving them Indian food after all these years. Yes. Wow. You're such uh. an accomplished chef, but were you nervous to serve them? It is the royals, after all. Right? You know, not how do you get nervous when you do something with love and passion? Yeah, people are going to see it. People love that what they, what you do. I always tell people, even if you're listening to music, if you're looking at a painting, you can't be worried about it. You just have to be confident and say, "I have made the best dish out there, and that's what I've created." 
And that's oh. what we did. That's Voila, cool. while you're oh. yapping away, look what I did. <laughs> wow. Look at this. Look at that. How oh, wow. Wow. Oh, 400 degrees, 30, 35 minutes kind of thing. Yeah, and the chicken looks gets great. a little bit of the crispiness. Looks there. a little crispy, looks right. awesome. So, Recipes on our website. Absolutely. Yeah. And I just want you to taste it as well. So I would love I that. I don't want you to just look like a pretty face. I want you to actually... <laughs> Eat the food as well. Wow. Uh, there's an entire vegetarian section in your cookbook. Thank you, Chef. Vikram, to which I say thank you mm -hmm. to you. It's it's huge. So tons of vegetarian options as well. You know, Indian food is the best cuisine for vegetarians mm. because of the spices that we use, the cloves, the cinnamon, the ginger, mm -hmm. the garlic, and yogurt. Mm -hmm. I always tell people, eat real food. Mm -hmm. Do not buy low-fat yogurt or low-fat sour cream or low-fat this. Buy, eat real food. Get Amazing. The real like, there's nothing low-fat about this guy. Right? <laughs> Enjoy real maybe, food. Maybe that is that'll awesome. help me get my prominent breasts. <laughs> <laughs> Do you love food? Do you love me? If you said yes to both of these things, you're in love. And if you said yes to one of these things, shame on you. I'm adorable. Hit subscribe right now for new and exciting recipes, trends, and much more, especially from me.